this is a more serious video and I never thought at any point in my life I would have to make this type of video, but here we are. In this video, we'll be discussing topics such as grooming, pedophilia, racism, transphobia, and NSFW content, so please be warned. And for anyone shown in this video, please do not harass them. This is just for making awareness and to put people accountable. For those who might not have Twitter, a content creator in the FNAF community named jflair205 has been called out after a few victims have come out about grooming and inappropriate behavior within his community, specifically on Discord. jflair is a voice actor who does comic dubs for FNAF comics, such as mine, and is also a streamer. Most of his fan base consists of minors. I say that due to his content being FNAF related. So his server is mostly populated by a younger audience. I'll have most of these threats linked in the description, but to sum it up, a Twitter user by the name of Boris released a thread about how Flair had groomed them when they were around 16 years old. Flair and Boris had interacted on Discord and after some time engaged in some sexually charged discussions. Some of the interactions were either between personal DMs or within a group chat where there were other minors present. Boris stated at the time that they were neutral about the discussions, but over time realized how uncomfortable it had made them, and Flair would somehow find a way to sexualize the conversation. He would often refer Boris as a brotherly figure, yet engaged in conversations about certain fetishes that I won't get into, but you can read it for yourself in the documents below. While Boris is no longer a minor currently, these conversations occurred when he was between the ages of 16 and 17. Boris was not the only one to speak up about Flair. Myself and a few others have come out about not only his behavior, but the people he has associated himself with. I made a thread about this as well, and while I was never groomed by him, I met him like in April 2023, I had witnessed some of his behavior that he exhibited in his server and in private. The various people Flair has been friends with were those who have and will continue to harm others. And many of those people who have been harmed have spoken up about their groomers and have an abundance amount of screenshots and anecdotes. And what I'm telling you here is this is mostly the surface level stuff that I'm aware about. But once again, all of it will be in the description, all the documents and all the threads. So please take some time to read them because these are very serious allegations against him and these people. One incident that myself and many others had witnessed both in the stream and on the server was one of Flair's friends who went by the name of Rayjack Furry on both Discord and Twitter. Rayjack was a member who financially supported Flair, but he was also kind of an odd figure in the community. I'm just gonna go on a personal side tangent here. Ray was a bit of a, like I said, was a weird figure. He first introduced himself in a I don't know how do you say this, but he would roleplay in casual conversations, such as, you know, you'd be like, oh, hey, how's it going? And he would just join and be like, hello, wags tail excitedly, that type of stuff. Yeah, okay. I was fine with it at first, you know, I mean, I was a little awkward, but most of us were just like, okay, whatever, that's just Ray. However, it starts getting weirder when you look deeper into it. There was an incident that involved a certain kink that we deemed as a little problematic. And there was one discussion where Ray had referred to twinks as little boys and would often refer to men and women as boys and girls at some point. Ray's behavior was something that had become a concern for some of us within the adult section of the server. Um, there was a time <laughs> where within the NSOW section of the server, we were in a VC with him and a friend and I were just chilling, um, and Ray started being a little sexual towards my friend. I had walked away from the computer, but I was still in the call, and I could hear everything they were, that, that they were saying, but he kept making advances, and my friend made, made it a point to say no and to tell him to stop, but he kept doing it. He kept, he kept making these comments. Now, of course, we brought that up with Flair and some of the mods, and they've talked to him, but it took so long for Ray to be banned. 
Of course, he eventually was banned from the server, although it took longer than it needed to, but he was not banned from the streams. During a stream in October of 2023, Ray was interacting with a chat member who was new to the community, a 16-year-old that was a fan of Monty Gator from Security Breach. And of course, on Twitch, you can redeem channel points for certain things, and on Flare streams, he had channel points where you can, like, redeem to get, like, little voice prompts, and he will voice over them and whatnot. So Ray had redeemed some channel points and presented a voice prompt from Flair at least twice. And I will show you in these screenshots here. He he made a very suggestive voice prompt targeting a 16-year-old in chat. To make matters worse, Flair went along and recorded the audio for the 16-year-old via Ray's request. I'll play the audio here, but I am so sorry if you had to hear this. But I'm warning you, it is really suggestive, and it is a bit much. Once again, I'm sorry. You know you're my favorite. I'll be waiting for you after the show. Uh, I know you won't disappoint me. Just need you to be a good girl for me. You're on time! I knew my rock star would come and wouldn't fail me to meet in my room. So let this big data give you a warm hug. You're so soft and cute. <laughs> Since it's just us, we can enjoy it and do whatever we want. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> you look so cute when you're blushing. Take this. This is to make you feel comfortable. And also... <clears throat> I love you. I literally can't listen to it without wanting to rip my skin off. I'm so sorry you had to hear that, but he made that audio. What makes this upsetting is that most of the server members didn't see an issue with this. No one spoke up about it. This is a very loaded situation, but it led to me and a friend approaching Flair, and the conversation basically went, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that. That is a 16-year-old. Why is Ray even on the stream? You banned him from the server. Why are you? Why did you do that? And Flair went basically like, Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about it. My bad. Even though you made a recording for a 16-year-old. But, you know, whatever. We let it slide. Which you shouldn't have. I was pissed off, though. Um, I do have a screenshot of me um, <laughs> being a little abrasive. But that's besides the point. And also the mods did speak with him and were like, hey, don't do that. That's weird. So he had multiple people telling him that it was wrong. It was only around December. Ray was officially banned from the community entirely. But it took a few miners to actually come out and say, um, hey, he makes me uncomfortable for Flair to actually do something about it. Why did it take so long for a predator to get banned from a community filled with underage fans? I still don't know. I really don't. Another person that Flair was friends with, as far as I'm aware, was a user who went by the name of Shadow, who had a crude sense of humor. There's nothing wrong with using dark humor until it's directed towards a group of people and is charged with bigotry. Shadow would make quite a few racial comments towards one, some of my friends who are Hispanic, and a scene on screen here. He's also made weird OCs that he named Holocaust for some reason. I don't know. He also encouraged one of those same friends to call someone the N-word. For what reason? I'm not sure. Shadow is white, by the way. I thought I'd mention that. The reason why Flair kept Shadow around was due to him wanting to fix him. However, the issue that I have with that is that he kept being an insolent figure around the f server. He was generally offensive, and as someone who's black and having friends who are people of color, I didn't find him appealing anymore when I found out he was saying these horrible things to one of my friends. Flair himself is also black, mind you, so there shouldn't be any reason to tolerate racism at all in his community. Shadow was eventually banned, but once again, it took Flair too long to actually do something about it and as far as i know he is still friends with shadow 
Now this section will get gross and more grim with the next person Flair is associated with, and that person is Glammy. I did not know Glammy personally at all, but the first instance that I've heard of him was by a friend who was groomed by him when he had turned 17. He turned 17, by the way. I'm just going to emphasize that. He turned 17. They were in a relationship with Glammy when Glammy was 20. Flair knew about this relationship, seen in these screenshots here, and instead of rightfully calling it out, he didn't do anything. In fact, he said he wasn't going to get involved. Although, the only thing he did get involved with was fixing their relationship problems. So, you know, good to know that he was helping a person in need with their uh, relationship issues. This friend of mine spoke to us about Flair being friends with Glammy as of recently. More cases about Glammy have unfortunately sprouted up with another person being Golden Spring, aka Alex on Twitter, who was groomed by the age of 14. He has provided tons of evidence, all ranging from discussions of kinks and fetishes, erotic roleplay, and abuse. Once again, these are in the description, so are the threads, and I am telling you these are very gross. Reading these made me sick to my stomach. I can only show so much on screen, but I am telling you, it is very disturbing. Glammy would send Alex NSFW art constantly, he would be generally possessive, and he would often try to get in the way of Alex's relationship with their partner, oftentimes trying to break them up and also flirting with them at the same time. Within Alex's thread and document, he discussed the effects of the relationship and how the grooming had completely altered his way of thinking, and it is just very disappointing to see that happen to him at such a young age. And it's a very unfortunate situation because he was also canceled for being accused of grooming. Which, I mean, I get it. It's, it's a very loaded situation that I myself don't know the full story of. But I did talk to Alex when more information came out about this. And from what he told me, yes, it's very unfortunate that he was put in this situation. What I find worse is that Clammy was on Flair's server, most recently on his stream just last week at the time of this recording. While I was told that Glammy was banned from the server by Alex, he was in there as recently as January 2nd of this year, of 2024, before Flair had made the server 18 plus. He was in there the entire time there were minors on that server. While the exact timeline as to when Glammy was banned, I left the server just like a few days ago, officially. And as far as I remember, he was still in there. The fact of the matter is, is that Glammy was in a server full of minors. There are quite a few people who have come out about Ray and Glammy grooming them. And Flair's lack of inaction and complacency was the cause for it. I know I mentioned that this video is going to talk about transphobia, but you please read um, the documents in the description once again because there is a lot more stuff in there than I can talk about in this video. Flair has quite a few fans who are a part of the LGBT community, including myself, but has had a history of saying some transphobic things in the past and also associate himself with transphobic and homophobic people. You can just read through these screenshots yourself. I will showcase them on screen right now, things he has said. Once again, I implore you to look at the documents in the description because once again, it goes more in depth and I can only talk about so much here without this video being like three hours long, so. Flair has apologized for his actions, making a document himself. However, this apology was absolute dog water, as it was only filled with slight victimization and pitting the blame on Boris. Saying the lines of, it's not my fault, they instigated it. Look, as an adult, it's your responsibility to set boundaries and to be firm. If a kid is going to talk sex talk, you got to be a bigger person and say, hey, you're too young to be talking about this stuff. Stop it. And just move on. Same goes with doing erotica roleplay. Like, you shouldn't be doing a, a fucking NSFW RP with a fucking 15-year-old 
like at all. I understand that teenagers can be horny and they will. And they're going to talk about sex and whatnot. But if you're an adult within that conversation, you should be able to step away and be like, hey, guys, I'm not going to sit around and be a part of this conversation. Or even perhaps to say, hey, guys, let's not talk about this. Not appropriate. And just, like, have a backbone. <laughs> like, literally, like, why is it so hard? Like, why do you, why do you just do, like, oh, my God. And it's the fact that he blamed, he was like, yeah, they instigated it. He did say, I told them to stop. But in those screenshots, it didn't really look like it. It looked more of like, tee stop, stop. You're, you're crazy, you're crazy. That's what it seemed like. That's what, that's the energy it gave. You weren't being serious, therefore the conversations kept continuing. You weren't being firm enough. And you shouldn't have been putting yourself in those situations in the first place. I'm just saying. Let's be real here. I've only known Flair... For at least six months. And the things that I've seen with his behavior have just been concerning and my flags were being constantly raised and I should have at some point stepped away from him and just cut myself off from him. I really should have. I should have done that sooner, honestly, when I started finding out these things. From talking about his genitals to sending pics to his mods and to just not having a backbone I say that Flair isn't the person he says he is. He's a good person in concept, but in execution, not in the slightest. I don't know if, if he is watching this, but if you are, I've lost respect for you. You let these things happen, and you let them fester. Me and a few others have told you to boost the age requirements for the community, but you didn't. It took for you to not only get cancelled, but to get doxxed to actually do something about it. You might have your followers who are sticking by your side, but you're not free from the skeletons that are in your closet currently. You wanted the community to be a family, but it wasn't a family. Hard to call it that when you completely disregarded the things your family had warned you about. You risked the safety of your underage fans by letting two fucking creeps chill out in your server. You're not helping people, you're only hurting them. You're 25 years old, and you should know better. The fact that we warned you about the company you keep is only going to drag you down. And look what's happened now. I mean, apparently, you're apparently one of them. So I guess that's the thing you guys have in common, it seems. You and your community have a parasocial relationship. As much as you don't want to admit it, you do. It's giving dream. It's giving mini lad. The fact that I had wanted to defend you from these accusations of transphobia back in July, the fact that I want, I was willing to defend you and be, you know, be put on the front lines to defend your honor, the fact that I was like, yeah, he's my friend, I, I believe him, the fact that I believed every single part of that was because I was, it was parasocial. We were friends, yes, but at the same time, it felt like we weren't friends. I can't even just I can't even explain it to you, but no, that was a parasocial relationship, and it was wrong for you to hide behind your fans and have them fight your battles for you, essentially. And they still believe you, by the way, even though the evidence was there. I don't understand it, and I feel bad for them because they had they they're in the same situation as I was back in July, believing you because you said that you were a good person, so they, therefore we believed you. I hope one day they all realize that you're not a good person, and that you guys are not a family, not even close to a family at all. <laughs>